Hello and what is going on dudes, welcome back to another video at GMI HD where today we're going to be jumping straight into some more Plague Inc. Evolved. We're actually going to be playing a new uh, game mode, which is called the Shadow Plague and it's based off sort of like vampire virus or whatever. So you know what, let's jump straight into it without further ado. I've already had a go at playing this game uh, once before and it, it is extremely hard, but there is some insane music that plays in the background. Don't know if you can hear it yet though, but it should come on in a second, it's absolutely awesome. Okay, a vampire rises in China. The world has changed beyond belief, but the vampire can already smell the blood of billions of humans waiting to be consumed and subjugated. Fancy word right there. Okay, we've started it off in China, as I said. So what we need to do is we need to add this symptom. I know you don't want to be adding symptoms so early, but you do need to add this one. And then we're going to add like water, air, fire, earth. I've got to turn that speed up on the game so that it can be going a little bit faster. Your vampire can change the world. It's shown as a red icon in the world map. It has unique powers. Also, so basically this red icon here, over here, in the middle of China, you can see it. Is, uh, it's really weird because it goes down as they start, like, the humans start killing the vampire and hurting it. Because uh, there's only like one vampire or something, and they just infect loads of people. Nox Eternus needs help from vampire to spread. Your disease is weak and vulnerable. Your vampire must evolve to use his powers. Yeah. Okay, what are these kind of stuff? Okay, we're gonna go vampires. Now we need to increase our sort of vampire. Vampire adapts to the modern world and is able to feed much more stealthily. That sounds good. Uh, blood gift. Uh, each night it marks them in blood. Okay. Now we don't have enough DNA points to get that. You can hear the awesome music coming on in the background. So this icon here, uh, as they start to notice the vampire, they start to kill it. They start to hurt it and it goes down in redness. It sort of goes down and it gets clearer and clearer until it gets only red at the bottom. And then when they kill the vampire, that's like the cure. So it'll show you down here how much the vampire is dead. I'm just giving you guys a quick ex quick explanation of how everything is going. We just got some more DNA points. We've got 15 DNA points right here. A vampire able to meditate and emit the shadow plague in a huge cloud. Tens of thousands. Oh, that sounds nice. And if, oh, we'd have enough for water. That would have been so key. That would have been so lucky, rather. Why would, why would it be low key? Whatever. I actually don't know what low key, low key means. I'm going to Google it in a minute. Well, when I finish this video, because I love you guys. Vampire feeding attracts attention in China. The vampire feeds by drinking the blood of its victims, leaving behind drained corpses. It is only a matter of time before humans realize that they're dealing some, with something country. Yeah, and that, that around that time, as they start to kill, we just move over to, over to India and that kind of stuff. Yeah, actually, we should get those things. There's two, like, abilities you can get it, so it translates into... Wait, it's not that. I think it's this. Therianthropy. Vampire gains ability to temporally mutate into a vast, winged, like, bat-like creature allows to travel to nearby countries. So it allows you to kind of transfer it, which is pretty cool. What is this? Shadow Trail. Any of these is possible. What is that? Uh, send a va- oh, right, no, we don't want to do that. We don't want to send a vampire just yet. Or when they start curing it, yeah, we do. Ha, ah, this is such a fun game. I love playing Inc, to be honest. It's actually kind of late for me, because I'm a really early morning person. It's, only, it's like 7 o'clock. I'll probably go to bed in like an hour. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I'm 14 years old, and I go to sleep at like 8 o'clock. Wow, we're spreading it across many countries. So you have one vampire, and you kind of spread it across like everywhere. Like the disease the vampire spreads. If that makes any sense, you guys, if you actually have any idea what we are playing. Hopefully you guys do. Okay, we're, we're spreading it through China insanely fast. Pretty swag. Right there. Wait, what, what country is there? Oh, did we just get it into India? I think we did. Yeah. They haven't even noticed it yet, which is pretty ridiculous. Okay, Onox Eternus has not been a note has not been noticed. Yeah, and we're killing people very steadily as well. Uh, uh, yeah, blood blood attacks, uh, blood cult attacks continue to climb, and that's the thought. That's actually the vampire. And that's pretty cool. Okay, Templar Industries reveals global vampire threat. Uh, Templar Industries claim to be taking urgent action to defend humanity. Well, we are going to be moving this vampire, this little vampire bad boy, over to that country right next to China, the borders China called India. Beautiful. Dark pustil symptom mutated. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. 
Wow, that sound is absolutely brutal. Oh god, they started protecting countries and stuff. This is bad. We need to get it to spread a little bit more through transmission, obviously. Okay, and then we're going to add air to. That's pretty, uh, pretty dope, boys. Okay, we got it into Japan. That is nice. We got it into USA. USA. And we're getting to loads of countries around this kind of area. Should we move? Should we just move it to, like, UK or something? Oh, we can't for some reason. I think you have to have a certain amount. Oh, do you have to move it to, like, nearby countries? Wait, so we can move it into, like, Kazakhstan. Can we move it across to, like, UK or something? New lab built in Morocco. Okay, we're gonna test it out. Can you move it to, like... Okay, you can move it across. I think it has to be across, like, certain countries. Oh, God, they start beating it the second it gets into countries that have been, like, blocked. Yeah, you can see it's going down in health. Gotta get it out of there fast, actually. Don't want to lose that much health. Uh, UK hasn't been protected. And I come from the UK. We are absolutely taking UK down to pieces. Boys. We've started killing quite a lot of people and stuff. Wait, is that going down in health? I don't think it is. Oh, God, it is. It is. It's going down in health. Maybe we just report it back to... Oh, we can't. We have to We have to use quite a lot of DNA points to get it back. Okay, what about this country here? I feel like they're just curing it, and I don't know how to stop it. God, they're curing it. This is such a hard game. Let me move it. Okay. Move it across to there. Just let it go. Just listen to that music, it's awesome. Now if we move it to India, hopefully it won't... Why is it curing? They're curing the disease, oh dear. Oh dear. How do we do this? Okay, you know what, we're just gonna kill everyone. Create a new vampire by temporarily producing toxic. Almost all infected will die, but eventually a viable host will be found. Wait, so we can actually just restart this. Destroy labs to prevent cure. Okay. Oh god, they've cured it. No! Hello darkness, my old friend. No, they cured it. This is so bad. Such a hard game mode. Wow. Okay, we are back with the second round, uh, which it, it doesn't usually happen in a play game video, but we're actually going to be playing it on normal game mode, because I've played it a couple times on Brutal, and it's just so goddamn hard. I don't actually think we should... Should we start... No, we're going to start in South Africa. Like I usually start most, uh, most plagues. I don't think it really affects this one, to be honest, that much. Wait, we're just killing loads of people. What the hell? Okay, transmissions. Okay, so first thing we need to put the symptoms on. Now we gotta go to transmissions and we're just gonna put... Oh, oops. No! Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> that is such a retarded mistake. I just bought uh, air and then like, got rid of it and I lost all my DNA points for it. You know, we're rebuying air. I just wasted all my DNA points. <sighs> Hopefully everything's okay. Let's just turn the speed up on this game a little bit. Hopefully we can do better than last time because obviously we're on uh, normal this time, so... Most people don't wash their hands in normal. Man says his speech was probably the- Haha. <laughs> Whoa, wow. He sounds really cocky. You know, my speech is the best speech that's ever happened. Ever happened to humanity. Okay. Let's just get as much DNA as we can. Because I wasted all of my DNA points. I don't get how we prevent the cure. Okay, what does this do? You know, I'm actually gonna Google it. Okay, I evolved a uh, lair and uh, the bat one, so, and I've heard that if you put a lair in certain countries, so, like, if we pause it, if we put a lair in certain countries, we can actually, like, regenerate the health of the uh, bat, uh, bat vampire, so it doesn't die as easily. So that's actually quite awesome. So what if we, what if we just put, like, a lair in, like, uh, I don't know, South Africa, you know? So hopefully whilst it's in South Africa, and if we increase the speed at which the vampire uh, can heal. So we just keep coming back to South and hopefully the vampire won't die. <laughs> I don't know. 
A vampire creates low in South Africa. Hidden away from humans, this air acts as a base for the vampire. Here it can hear itself as well as regenerate DNA. So generate DNA points. This sounds awesome. So hopefully we just can't keep getting DNA points regularly. And, and, and we're absolutely going to destroy this. Okay, blood cult leader attract in South Africa. Oh. This is bad. This is bad. I mean, I know we're in our lair, but this doesn't sound good. Wait, is it possible we can increase the lair heal healing? And antibiotic. Each lair is built in a wealthy country will help the shadow play increase its effectiveness in wealthy countries. And then cold and heat tolerance, okay. Uh, bat travel speed, night wrath. I think we need to get blood rage because it allows us to destroy those kind of bases and stuff. So hopefully that's good. Okay, I don't really know what's happening with the fact that they just found the guy, but whatever. Okay, we just needed them to stop the cure. We just can't, I, we can't let the cure happen, basically. Okay, blood gift and blood rage, okay. So the symptoms. Um, yeah, really, I think that's it. We just need to wait. We just need to wait for everyone to die. And then everything will be good. We need to get more DNA points, bruh. Okay, there's another one. And another one bashed this. Okay, these stupid Templar Ender Industries uh, found out about our vampire, and now they're activating military protocols, which is absolutely awful. Okay, village, village vigilance in South Africa, fight vampire, okay. But, but, please don't hurt my vampire. You can't kill my vampire, because he's in his lair. So you guys are stupid. Okay, so they're starting to protect countries, but if we get this bloodlust thing, it allows us to destroy those protections. Which has never been seen before, and it sounds pretty awesome, to be honest. And we're steadily killing people, steadily infecting people, and it is awesome. Uh, this is great. This is actually a super fun game mode. Oh god, they're protecting, like, uh, Saudi Arabia. Wait, what is that? Iraq. And, like, that kind of area. Middle Eastern areas. Okay, we're doing pretty well in South Africa, though. Got some DNA points going on. Let's add a little bit of water infectivity. Water. Water? I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm done. Okay, we should probably save up for the blood rage thing, so we can destroy these countries. Uh, symptom mutated. That's bad. We're getting regular DNA points from our lair. I, I, f I think maybe if you have lairs in other countries, they don't actually, um, you can still get DNA points. I don't know if you're not in that uh, place. Templar forces are getting ready to hunt and destroy lairs. Oh. That's bad. Oh god, they're coming in. Okay, we're gonna have to um, pause the game very quickly just to just to get my game plan in action. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna travel. We don't have it in any of the countries, so we can't like travel there. God, we need to get it. Okay, what we need to do is we need to travel from here to there, and then we need to plop a nice juicy lair down in that great country. You're not gonna let me put a lair down. That's nice. And there we go, we just laired it up. We just got my, ourselves a second lair and they destroyed our first lair. Hopefully they think we're still in there though. Because it's spreading steadily throughout South Africa. And we've got some pretty sick protection in um, uh, Angola. This is the country that we're in right now. I should spend some time learning all of the African countries. As I said, I was taking geography for um, GCSE. Come on, just get all of them. Get all of them people dead. Okay, we're getting some sick DNA points right now. The Templar grow stronger in Mag Madagascar. The Templar have built up a significant defense in Madagascar against the vampire. Citizens are prepared for and ready for anything. I can't wait to get Blood Surge. Wait, we might have enough DNA to get it now. Uh, vamp it's on vampires, isn't it? Uh, it's not. It's blood rage. Okay, vampire gains ability to enter a blood rage, which will attack research military facilities if present, otherwise consuming people for DNA. Consuming people for DNA. Oh, God. They're, they're going around us. Pause the game. Pause the game. Okay, what we're going to have to do... Do we... Oh, do we even have enough DNA points? Here we do. Okay, we're going to have to travel to, like, um, this country. Why, why can't I travel there? A known disease spotted in South Africa. Oh god, they've spotted our disease. 
This is bad. Let me move, country. Why can't I move country? I just moved to my own country. That makes no sense. Oh, it's because I wasn't clicking on it. Duh. Uh, that was retarded. You know, we're gonna travel all the way to there. Templar working to cure Nox Eternus. We don't want you. We, we can't let them cure it. They just destroyed our. Um, what's it called? Oh, we don't have enough DNA points for one. God, we better hope that they don't start attacking it but until we got enough DNA points. Okay, we do have enough DNA points now. Come on, let me put that down there. Okay. So we can just get regular DNA points. This is terrifying. And they're starting to cure our disease. God. Why is it so hard? We've only in like factored like 26 million or something. It's ridiculous. Oh my god, I just hit my microphone. <laughs> wow. Sorry guys. Hopefully that didn't make too much noise and then I'll edit it out. Okay, we're getting into like Saudi Arabia, Australia, that's pretty sick. Pretty sick, blah. Well, it barely ever spreads in those countries. But this is quite a hard game mode. Oh god, they're coming to destroy us. We don't have enough DNA points. We have to get 23. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Where, where can we go? Let's move. Let's move. Out. Come on. Give me some DNA points. Real fast. What we need to do is we need to construct multiple of those layers. Nox Eternus struggles to spread in harsh climates. Oh dear. Come on. Lair destroyed in Algeria. God, we need DNA points. Just give me two DNA points and we can survive, bruh. Because they could start killing us in this country. Oh god, they're curing it. Destroy labs. Oh, that's how we do it. We have to destroy the labs. Let's go right to the heart. Um, I can't reach any of those countries. Oh, I can. I just reached a lab. Oh my god, the cure is complete. Cure poisons my vampire. This is outrageously hard. You know what? I'm gonna end the episode there then. So if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more daily content from Gemma HD. That is goodbye from me. Goodbye. Yeah,